Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is number 90. Decisions are a part of life. Some are easy, some are hard. One of the decisions every girl has to face as she grows up is what kind of robot will she choose as her first robot? For me, it was particularly hard because I couldn't figure out if I should make a frivolous choice and buy a robot that just does cartwheels and plays soccer based on my Bluetooth commands. Perhaps I should choose the Lego kit robot as an educational experience. Instead, I chose a robot that does something practical, as I always do. And so, my fellow people of Earth, my first robot is a Roomba Discovery vacuum cleaner. And I love him. Or her. We haven't decided yet. He or she took three hours to charge, and then we let him or her go wild. It was amazing watching the Roomba recognize the difference between walls and furniture legs. My chihuahuas, however, did not readily welcome the newest addition into the family. Sydney, the fat chihuahua who humps the teddy bear, barked at it. Little Zozo, the famous one for having diarrhea, went and hid in bed. There were three surprises when we got Roomba home. iRobot recommends emptying the dustbin after every use. That one's no biggie. The one I'm dreading, about as much as regular old-fashioned vacuuming, is the requirement that you remove and clean the brush after every five uses. I don't know how inconvenient that'll seem yet, but it seems like it might be like having a third pet. The third surprise was that the virtual walls each required two double D batteries and batteries were not included. Not wanting to go back out in the rain, Neil and I are currently acting as human virtual walls and it tickles. <laughs> As we approach mid-November, there's electricity in the air in anticipation of the release of the Sony PlayStation 3 and the Nintendo Wii. The PS3 is scheduled to drop on November 17th in the U.S. The Wii shows up two days later on the 19th. The third major gaming console, Xbox 360, has some disgruntled users. A recent update crippled some machines by replacing the ability to play games with the less entertaining error code E71. Microsoft's working with users to fix the problem either by replacing or repairing problem consoles. If you have a scratched up 5th gen iPod that works as good as ever but looks like it's spent time in Fallujah, the iView Clear iPod case is definitely worth a glance. This is not an add-on enclosure or wrap-around case. It's a complete faceplate replacement that reveals your iPod's inner beauty. At CrunchGear.com, Matt Hickey has an excellent article for anyone thinking about purchasing a smartphone for the first time. He distinguishes between different types of smartphones and phones with smartphone-like features. He explains all the potential features, interfaces, and operating systems in a concise piece that you can digest in just about five minutes. There's a link in the show notes at geekbrief.tv. Bob Parsons, CEO and founder of GoDaddy.com, asked me to be on his radio show Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time. You can listen live on the website at lifeonline.com and on Sirius 102 or at 10 p.m. Pacific on XM 171. If you're listening live, Call and ask us questions. It could be fun. 888-880-4004. Don't forget my promo code when you're buying domain names. Type in GB1, GB2, or GB3 at checkout to see which discount saves you more. Last week, he had Kevin and Alex from Dignation on, and he had beers for them. Let's see if he has martinis for me. Bombay Sapphire up with a twist. I'm Callie Lewis, your fearless leader. The town of Shadow Falls holds a secret some will kill to protect, and others will die to expose. For every light that shines, a shadow falls. Be amongst the chosen at shadowfalls.podshow.com. <laughs>